what's up guys, my name is Mr. Freeze 2244 and welcome back to Sapienza. In this video we will be covering four challenges overall for this one. So we will be covering the assassination challenges of Caving In and Fatal Reaction. We'll also be covering two feats including Hostile Environment and Mission Story Hostile Environment. And as always for these challenges videos that I've been doing and remaking, I'll be doing it with the default loadout as if you are a new player to the game and just started. So I'll be starting with a regular pistol in the main square with a fireball wire and coin. Nothing will be any different. First thing we need to do now is get ourselves a disguise. And uh, that is going to allow us to get access to most of the mansion area. But we're only going to use it briefly anyway. But we need to get access to the mansion area so we can get a key card. First things first, head to your apartment. And we're going to pass through there. So use the key in your apartment to go through. Head on out the back. And then climb this balcony and get the kitchen staff disguise. So kitchen assistant disguise, whatever it's called. Once we've done that, we're going to drop down here and then pass through the kitchen. Once we've passed through the kitchen, we're going to head on to the opposite door of the kitchen. It's just over here. It's going to be a locked door, so we're going to climb through the window. Ignore the camera. We're going to take out the camera a little bit later on, so it doesn't matter if you got spotted here. Pass through these doors and come into this room. The observatory room. This is where we're going to grab the key card. So grab it from there. That's going to allow us to get access to the lab area. So climb down the stairs. Use the key card on the door. Get access to the underground. Now this is a hostile area. So we, this disguise is no good anymore. So we are going to need a fresh disguise. So we're going to take advantage of this, uh, this guard right here. This field lab. And while he's got his back to us, we're going to knock him out. If he's in a different position to you, I would recommend just uh, waiting for him to have his back turned before you can knock him out. And then once we've done that, put him in the nearby crate and take his disguise. Once we've done that, I'd recommend just leaving that shotgun there. It becomes a little bit of a problem later on, so just leave that shotgun there. Don't bother taking it. And we're going to slide down this pipe. And come into this area. This is where the camera equipment is. So while one guard is vacating, we're going to take out this guard right here. He's the only other guard in the room. We'll take him out pretty quickly before anyone else comes in. Quite a busy room overall. Hard his body in the crate and then pick up his weapon. And destroy the evidence. So any record of the cameras that got recorded earlier, they're all gone. Next thing we need to do is uh, trigger Francesca to come down into this underground area. And the only way of doing that is basically triggering a lockdown. Well, okay, so setting off the alarm, which is by destroying the virus, essentially. So we're going to come behind these barrels right here. And when you see the stalactite that's highlighted, we're going to take out our pistol while we're crouched and shoot it. That is going to destroy the virus, and that's going to lead uh, Francesca down here, who's going to be alerted from her staff. So the staff are going to tell her all about it, tell about what happened, and she's going to come down and sort it out. So I know this can take quite a while as well. So you do have to wait quite quite a while once she, before she gets down here because she, she is quite slow. But for the benefit of the video, I will be skipping ahead. But she's on the phone right now. She's going to be walking down momentarily. So I'm just going to wait for that and skip to the point where we need to save. After a couple of minutes or so, you'll see her entering the, the, the cave area. And once she's quite close, what we're going to do is plant a save right here. So what you want to do at this point is go ahead and pause the, pause the game and make a save. Because we're going to need to reload the save once she's back in here. So now she's in here, what we're going to do now at this point is turn on, uh, start the alarm on this forklift. We're doing that to distract this guard because he's an enforcer. We need to get around the back. Because we do need to get into the... Uh, into the lab itself. Once he's got his back to you, we're going to sneak past him. There's two enforcers around here as well, so just be careful of that. Use the cover to your advantage. Circle around the outside. And once you get to over the, here to this point, you're pretty much safe. Now this is where the issue of the shotgun comes into play. I don't really know whether to take it or leave it. But once we put on this disguise here, you'll have the hostile environment challenge completed. 
but we now have a shotgun on our back. So I was like, do I drop it here or take it with me? I would recommend if you if you have the shotgun on you, just take it with you anyway. It doesn't really matter. Because if I, you just leave it there like I've just done there. I just thought to myself at the time, I thought, Francesca's going to come through here and she's going to go to a guard and it's going to get all delayed. So I thought, just take it with me. There's no one else in this area anyway. But it would have been better if you just did with the shotgun at all. Shouldn't have done that. But once we're in here now, the mission story hostile environment should pop up once Francesca heads into here. She's a lot quicker than she used to be. This used to be a lot slower than, her, than it used to be. In Hitman 1, it was a very, very slow process going through all this. But she's essentially going to come in here. She, What she actually did is make sure that there's oxygen here so she can actually breathe. And what we're going to do is, once she's in here, we're going to turn that off. Francesca DeSantis. There we go. Fatal reaction completed. Next up, Silvio Caruso. Give her a tea bag or two. So anyway, once that challenge is completed, what we need to do at this point now is go ahead and reload that save that we made earlier. And this will take us back to the point where Francesca was just entering the enter in the cave underground so to get the caving in challenge we need to make sure that we take uh, Francesca out with a stalactite and uh, unfortunately she only walks, walks under one stalactite which is right there in the middle of the screen so we need to make sure that she uh, we take her out just then so I'm gonna again skip to the point where we need to be and uh, we'll get back to it Okay, there we go. 40 seconds later. So once she's checked the middle counter, she's going to go through the lab. And what we need to do is make sure that we are lining up the stalactite above her and the... There you go. So once you see the white dot lining up with the stalactite, that's when you want to shoot it. She should stand still and let, you, let it happen anyway. So there we go. There's the caving in challenge completed as well. That's four challenges completed in this video. So thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like on the video if it helped you out and subscribe if you are new to the channel and hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams and consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below or clicking the link in the description and a big shout out to my Psycho Assassin members which is the top tier which includes Agent 47, the man himself, Constantine Mueller, Kyle Moon, Paul at Home, Paul Jakubowski and Paul Walker with Wandering Wendy as well on top of that. Thank you very much for watching. I feel free to drop a like as well, like I said, and I shall see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.